it was interesting the way um, uh, the dominator um, came, came, came as my opponent. I did a random message to the fans to ask, ask them who should be my next opponent. And one of the first people who to pipe up was um, uh, Mark Damori saying, OK, I'll fight you. But he, he, he piped up quick and he, he was giving it large. I, ch I checked out his record. I was like, OK, he ranked in the top 10. OK, you got a lot of knockouts. We'll, we'll see on January 16th, you know, uh, whether the Dominator can dominate the Haymaker. I, I very much doubt that. You come into the fight with a very impressive record. You haven't been beaten in a decade. 26 knockouts from 31 wins. You know, you're, you're certainly, you know, he certainly has every reason to take you very seriously. Yeah, yeah I think uh, my, my record is very impressive. I haven't fought the likes of uh, David Hay and, and that calibre. But this is my big opportunity, you know, and this is exciting for me. And I've got 30 wins, 26 by knockout. And a lot of those wins are by body shot knockout. So. I'm very explosive. If I hit him on the chin or the body, he's going to feel the power. Um, and I think he picked me because he thinks he can beat me, obviously. But he's been studying a guy that was self-trained and, and traveling around without a trainer. And in the last six months, I've built a professional team. David, it's been three years since you've been out of the ring. You retired, you're back again, you retired, you're back again. How's it feel to finally be back with a vengeance? It feels great. And it's actually, by the time I step it through the ropes, it'll be three and a half years. So um, it's a long absence from competitive boxing, but you now I've got myself a good opponent, Mark, the dominator, Damori, you know, who hasn't lost in 11 years, you know, 30 wins, 26 knockouts. So he's a power puncher. So, you know, I get the best out of myself when I'm put under pressure. So um, to jump back into the, into the big sporting arena against a top 10 opponent like him, you know, I think it will get the, get the, the, the public, public's imagination uh, juicy. And um, it's going to be a good, you know, tickets go on sale Friday morning, 9 a.m. So I'm expecting a, a good turnout and a good, uh, good atmosphere with that first bell rings.